With the recent changes to Twitch and the addition of Brava, the meta around drone operators has changed a lot. So in today's video, I'll be going over all of the drone operators and comparing them. I'll be doing this by giving them a score out of 10 in four key categories, same as always. The categories are gadget, loadout, secondary gadget, and versatility. Then at the end of the video, I'll be adding up their scores to come to a verdict. So make sure you watch until the end of the video to find out who is the best drone operator in Rainbow Six Siege. To start out the video, we'll be going over Twitch, since she came with the game on release. Twitch's gadget is the Shock Drones. At the time of recording, she has two of these Shock Drones that can be used to destroy Defender Electronic Utility. Her drones do this via an electric laser that can be used at any point while operating the drones. Each drone gets three lasers that when shot will take 15 seconds to recharge. This gives her drone some real strength when it comes to dealing with Defender gadgets. If she can manage to sneak her drones into the bomb site, they can destroy Kaid's Electro Claws or Bandit's batteries to help the team get the wall open, they can destroy Jaeger ADSs, Oral My Magnets, and many other important gadgets that you need to deal with. One change that Ubisoft made to her gadget recently was they gave it the ability to jump. This allows her drones to get through windows, over shields, and around obstacles that she normally wouldn't be able to. Also, she recently got two normal drones added to her kit, meaning that she now has four drones total. This allows her to gather a huge amount of intel for her team. She may have to spend a lot of time on her drones to do it, but the sacrifice is worth it considering how important drones are in Siege. Now her gadget does have one downside, and that is the fact that her drones are easily countered. If the defenders have a Mew or Mozzie, they can easily stop Twitch's drones from getting into the bomb site. and if the defenders pay attention enough, they can hear her drones coming and shoot them before they can even get to any important utility. So taking all of this into account, I'll be giving her a 7 out of 10 in the gadget category. Her gadget is really solid, but it isn't one of the best the game has to offer. Now to move on to her loadout. Twitch has the option between the F2 assault rifle and the 417 DMR as primary options, and the P9 pistol and LFP revolver as secondary options. The F2 has been nerfed massively. It no longer has a vertical grip, which has made its recoil much worse. It was already pretty difficult for some players before the change, but its recoil now is near uncontrollable. And well, that is where the 417 comes in. Since it is a DMR, it has low recoil, especially since the new buff to the muzzle brake. Most people are running it now, and the 417 does happen to be the best DMR in the game. It sucks that the F2 isn't as good as it used to be, but hey, at least the 417 has made up for it. As for the P9 pistol, it is a solid pistol that can get the job done. And the LFP revolver has stupid high damage, but it has a downside of a low capacity, which with the game having a high reliance on secondaries after the reload canceling change, I don't think it's worth running over the P9. Overall, I'll be giving her loadout a 6 out of 10. Now to discuss her secondary gadgets. She has the choice between smoke grenades and claymores. Smoke grenades are solid for allowing your team to get a plant down or to provide you with some cover before pushing a defender. However, you guys know how I feel about claymores. They provide you with very little utility and are only really useful under windows or to protect you from runouts. So I'll be giving her secondary gadgets a 5 out of 10. Now to move on to our final category, which is versatility. Twitch is pretty good in this aspect since she can fill so many different roles at once. She has the ability to drone in her team four times over, she can destroy electronic defender utility, and she can protect the plant with her smoke grenades. Her only real hole in the versatility aspect is that her guns aren't the best after the F2 nerf, but I still think she is worth a rating of 9 out of 10 in the versatility category. Since we are done rating Twitch, it is now time to move on to Flores. Flores' gadget is the Rotero drone. Flores gets four of these that can be detonated with a click of a button. When detonated, his drones will become bulletproof and will explode after three seconds. This means that his drones can be used to destroy hard defender utility, which can't be said about anyone else in this video. The one downside of his drones, however, is that they are really slow and loud. Louder than even Twitch's drones. This makes his drones really difficult to get use out of them, but in the right hands, they can be strong. Also, Flores has the same problems as Twitch when it comes to counters. Flores can be countered by Mute and Mozzie easily, especially Mute. If Mute places his jammers properly, it can completely shut down Flores' ability to use his drones. Despite all of this, I think Flores' gadget is better than Twitch's because it provides the ability to destroy every Defender gadget, while Twitch can only destroy electronics. So overall, I'll be giving his gadget a 9 out of 10. Now to discuss Flores' loadout. Flores has the option between the AR-33 and SR-25 DMR as primary options, and the GSH-18 as his only secondary. The AR-33 is a solid assault rifle with good damage, a solid fire rate, and low recoil. 
It is honestly one of my favorite guns to play with right now, but I can't say the same about the SR-25, which is pretty terrible. It does have a high capacity, but it has terrible damage and fire rate for a DMR. In my eyes, it is the worst DMR in the game and you shouldn't run it in any circumstance over the Arrow 33. As for his GSH, it is a low damage, high capacity pistol that can get the job done if you need it to. I think overall his weapons grant him a solid 6 out of 10 in the loadout category. Now to discuss his secondary gadgets. Flores has the option between claymores and flashbangs. Claymores as I discussed earlier with Twitch aren't great. They are extremely obvious and more than likely will be shot. As for flashbangs, they are extremely strong. Flashbangs can burn ADSs or my magnets and they can blind defenders allowing you to go for an easy swing. So I think I'll be giving Flores a six out of 10 in the secondary gadget category. Now to move on to the versatility category. I think this is by far Flores' weakest aspect. After a team picks Flores, defenders will be more wary of his drones and they will likely get shot. His drones being loud and slow also doesn't help him because of how easy it is to shoot them. Also, defenders may bring anti-drone operators to help deal with his drones if he's used enough. This in combination with the fact that he can't really use his drones to gather intel makes him not nearly as versatile as Twitch with his gadget. So I'll be giving him a four out of 10 in the versatility category. Now to move on to our newest operator, Brava. Brava's gadget is the Kludge Drone. These drones have the ability to hack defender gadgets while the drone is in range. This means that the defender's gadgets that get hacked will convert to the attacking side. Traps will turn against the defenders, cameras will transfer to the attackers, and even ADSs or OMI magnets will convert to the attackers. This may sound like a huge ability, but it is quite niche. It's mainly useful against intel operators like Valk, Echo, and Maestro. This is because these cameras can provide a ton of intel to your team, and you can use the Echo drones and the Maestro cameras against the enemy team. The biggest misconception about Brava is that she is good against trap operators, but this is far from the truth. Traps are rarely walked through by defenders due to where they typically are placed. Also, most traps, except for Capcan traps, have a very little effect on a defender. On top of this, I think most of the time hacking a gadget is worse than outright destroying it because it takes more time to do so and it doesn't provide much of a benefit. These downsides, on top of the fact that her drones are super easy to counter and loud, makes me want to give her a 4 out of 10 in the gadget category. Now to discuss her loadout. She has a choice between the Para 308 Assault Rifle and the Camera as DMR as her primary options, and the USP Pistol and the Super Shorty Shotgun as her secondary options. The Para 308 is one of the best assault rifles in the game right now, especially with extended barrel. It is able to two-shot defenders, it has a good fire rate, and decent recoil for a gun with that kind of damage. As for the Camera as, it isn't great. Its capacity is pretty good, same with its damage, but its fire rate isn't the best. It definitely isn't worth running over the Para in my opinion, because of how much damage the para does. The USP, on the other hand, is pretty good. It has solid damage for a pistol and a solid magazine size. Her other secondary option, the Super Shorty, provides some additional utility. It can be used to open soft surfaces, barricades, and hatches, as well as to kill defenders extremely up close. I think taking all of this into account, she is worthy of a score of nine out of 10 in the loadout category. Now to talk about her secondary gadgets as usual. She has the choice between smoke grenades and claymores, same as Twitch. So this rating is pretty easy. I'll be giving her a five out of 10, just like Twitch. Now let's talk about the final category, that being versatility. Brava's versatility is pretty much the same as Flores in my eyes. She has all of the same issues he has, except for the fact that her drones are faster and quieter than Flores, which does give her a few extra points in my opinion. So I'll be giving her a five out of 10 in the versatility category. Now to answer the question you clicked on the video for, who is the best drone operator? Well, let's go to the scores. Starting out in the gadget category, Twitch got a score of seven out of 10, Flores got a score of nine out of 10, and Brava got a score of four out of 10. Then for the loadout category, Twitch and Flores tied with a score of six out of 10, and Brava got a score of nine out of 10. After that, in the secondary gadget category, Twitch got a score of five out of 10, Flores got a score of six out of 10, and Brava tied with Twitch with a score of six out of 10. Finally, in the versatility category, Twitch got a score of nine out of 10, Flores got a score of four out of 10, and Brava got a score of five out of 10. This made Twitch's overall score 27 out of 40, which isn't terrible. She has good utility, but her guns just aren't the best. And that's why I don't think she's any higher. As for Flores, his overall score is a 25 out of 40, slightly worse than Twitch. His gadget is really good and so is his guns, but his versatility just isn't there. And that's why I think he belongs below Twitch. Then finally, we have Brava, who has an overall score of 23 out of 40, making her the lowest rated operator out of all three in this video. I think Brava is the worst mainly because her gadget isn't nearly
nearly as strong as the other two operators in this video. Her guns are absolutely insane though, and I think that's what's carrying her to this position. So this is their ranking in order. As always, this video is strictly my opinion, and if you disagree, feel free to leave your opinions in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, I make Siege content just like this twice a week, so go subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter if you don't want to miss the next upload. If you want to watch another video just like this one, a video will be popping up on your screen right now where I compare the plant denial operators of Rainbow Six Siege. I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.